diverse, multi-generational music and fresh seafood that's all caught locally. These are the hallmarks of the Wild Caught Festival in the Carteret County community of Gloucester, near Harkers Island. It's coming up August 18th and 19th, and Bob Garner has a preview in tonight's house special. Well, you've been here over 25 years. This is a festival that seems to really do a good job of connecting with local culture. We're trying to draw people's attention to the importance of eating local seafood and what that means. It means a lot. It's not just eating the tastiest, freshest seafood. It's supporting the local community, the local economy. It's supporting the heritage of this area. Fishing, it's who they are. It's not what they do. And so it's just a real deep connection. Barbara Blake and husband Brian are the Wild Caught Festival organizers. With lots of experienced helpers and strong community support, largely due to their success in putting on a local Mardi Gras festival for many years. So local bands, authentic music, authentic food, I mean, it all kind of goes together, right? Oh yeah, we uh, feel like that we want to present what we have here in Carter County. And that includes our local musicians and our local food. And I know you all have been more responsible than anyone for increasing the love of Zydeco music because of your band, Unknown Tongues. That's true. Uh, we've been doing this about 26 years and we used to get looks like, what are they saying? Because a lot of the songs were singing French and Cajun French. And now everybody knows what Zydeco and Cajun music is. Musician and coastal advocate Bland Simpson visited last year, not only to entertain with his distinct style, but to support North Carolina seafood. Where did it come from? Where was this caught? And when was it caught? Uh, those are fair questions, and, and everyone in the, in the retail food business ought to be happy to be given those answers, you know, and proud. This slept in the ocean right off Atlantic Beach last night. We serve only food that's caught right out here at, at these festivals. We know where all of the seafood comes from because the people we're getting it from, we actually see out here fishing sometimes. You might not get an old-fashioned crab and shrimp boil or charcoal mullet in an area restaurant, but you'll find totally authentic food reflecting local tastes at Wild Caught. Charcoal mullet, for example, is on the festival menu nearly every year. We went out with local fisherman Zach Davis to net some of the mullet for last year's festival. Uh, usually you either split it in half or you fillet it off. You leave the scales on, you put it the scale side down, and it doesn't burn the meat. Almost and acts like a pan itself it does. to hold the fat in there. And, and actually yeah. it is a fat oily fish full of omega-3 proteins, which everybody knows is what we're eating for our health now. It's not as fancy and not as slicked up, but that's the real beautiful part of it. No, it's not. And uh, we actually take pride in being the localist and the smallest seafood festival in North Carolina. We don't, we're not trying to push or be preachy. We just want to say, here it is, taste it. What do you think? And anybody that's eaten, uh, you know, the farm-raised shrimp that you can hold up to the light and see through, as compared to the wild caught shrimp from right here in Carter County knows that there's a major taste difference. So you guys have been around this a long time. You've put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into organizing mm -hmm. this. Why? Well, like I like to tell people, we'll beat a dead horse <laughs> till it comes back to life. <laughs> For North Carolina Weekend, I'm Bob Garner. This year's Wild Caught Music and Local Seafood Festival is at 380 Piggott Road in Gloucester. The festival opens Friday night, August 18th at 7 p.m. and Saturday from noon to 11 p.m. For more information, go to unknowntongues.com.